Hey guys, how's it going? To all my subscribers and friends out there, Carnage back here again today with another video. And today is going to be yet another uh, DVD Blu-ray box set. And I have one particular uh, special item that I picked up that I, when I was uh, been out of town the last couple days. Um, went up and visited my family in the town I was born in. So uh, got, got got away for a little bit, and there is a, <clears throat> a bookstore that is by my grandparents' house. And you know, I, I like reading. I like to you know read certain novels and old books and stuff like that and I like to browse around in there and I was just looking around and I happened to come come upon something pretty awesome um, if you're into comic books but uh, I'll hold off till the end to, to show that one um, so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get started um, I have a, a different variety of pretty much everything I have box sets I have a, um, some steel books blu-ray and DVD so the first one that I have to show you guys is I just got this one in the mail and that is the Halloween The Complete Collection 10 disc set. Um, I was never planning on getting this particular edition since I already have the, uh, is it the Anchor Bay? No, I'm sorry, it's the Scream Factory release. Um, the box set for Halloween. I already had that. Um, but I happened to find this one on eBay just kind of browsing around and I found it for a really good price So I decided to to go ahead and, and get it because I love this cover art right here. I think that's just an awesome picture of uh, Michael Myers right there um, And this edition is, is really nice, too. I don't Think it's on par with the other box set just because of the fact that you get all the disc and individual um, DVD cases but this one is is still very nice. See all the, uh, the set includes Halloween two, three, four, five, The Curse, H two O Resurrection, and then of course Rob Zombie's uh, remakes right there. So really nice. This one I haven't actually even opened yet. I'm not sure if I will, since I already opened the other box set. There's not really really any reason to open this one. So. Yeah, it's the Halloween the Complete Collection, but a really, really nice box set. I like the the picture of the pumpkin right there on the front, or I mean on the, the side right there. I think that's pretty cool looking. And the next one is going to be, now this one's pretty hard to come by. I was really happy when I found this one, and that is the Friday the 13th, the collection. Um... I'm a big fan of Friday the 13th series, so I'll kind of just briefly show what's included in this. Now, obviously, it's not brand new. It does have a little bit of damage, but I got it for an extremely good price, and I was not about to pay um, the prices that people were asking for a brand new one. So this, I like the cover right there. That's really awesome. It's like one of those... Uh, lenticular magnets you can see the machete moving right there pretty awesome and then here is the actual uh, case and it does come with 3d glasses right there which is cool it's got like a blood splatter on the back and uh, Jason it's like cut out of Jason's mask and here's another picture right here and this is just a regular still and here's the inside you got Friday the 13th uncut and it shows all the it comes with you know uh, facts about the actual movie and then special features so it's really nice layout it shows the, the body count weapons used it's, it's just a fun addition right here I was really happy to get this one and it goes on part two right there which was uh, is my favorite out of the whole series it shows the body count was the same but the weapons went from four to nine and then you can see gradually the body counts start to increase from from 10 to 12 to 14 to 21. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of killings in this one right here, just crazy. And then it goes back down to 18, 16, 21 again. Uh, and that is, of course, Jason 
takes Manhattan, which is very underrated. I really enjoyed this one. I mean, a whole lot of people died in that one, but it's pretty cool. And there's a nice picture of Jason at uh, Camp Crystal Lake right there in the woods. So yeah, I was definitely happy to have this one added to the collection. The collection. <laughs> um, if you're a fan of uh, Jason Voorhees and Friday the 13th, this is definitely one to be on the lookout for. And since I already did one Friday the 13th, I figure I'll do the other. And this one I did get brand new. And that is the Friday the 13th All 8 Edition Deluxe Edition DVDs. And this one, of course, has the uh, Jason's Hockey Mask right there. And this one comes with 3D, two 3D pairs glasses right there. Um, this one I don't plan on opening. This collector's item right here, but yeah, this one's really cool. I've been on the hunt, kind of looking for this one for a while. There's the back right there, everything that's included. It's a really nice set. It's got the, the booklet, obviously, right there. Um, so yeah, it's really, really nice. Really enjoyed this one right here. I'm glad I uh, got it all sealed up. And let's see, next one is one that is yet again not sealed, but I'm still happy to uh, to have this one. And that is the Fantastic Factory Presents. And it comes with these movies right here, Beyond Reanimator, Foss, Loved of the Damned, Arachnid, and Romance, Romance Santa. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's the best I can do, The Werewolf Hunt. Um, this is a really awesome edition right here. I really like the artwork. This one is pretty hard to come by. You see on the side right there. Here's the back. All the special features it comes with. You guys already know with Arrow Video you get a ton of stuff. And I'll just kind of uh, briefly show what's, uh, what's inside. And you have, uh, here's the movies right here. So we have Beyond Reanimator. And these ones, of course, they all come with uh, the booklet. And it also has a poster included as well. And there's the nice disc artwork right there. Next one is Arachnid. This movie I have not seen, but I definitely check it. Like, we'll definitely check this one out. Um, spiders definitely freak me out, so I think I will check this one out. And from the back of it, it looks like a pretty creepy movie. The spider looks just insane looking. Special features. Here is Foss, Loves of the Dams. Last but not least, the one I cannot say, Roma Santa. Roma Santa, the werewolf hunt. I plan on checking this one out too as well. So that is the uh, Fantastic Factory Presents. All these movies right here. Okay, now I'm going to get into the steel books that I got this week. The first one that I got is The Gunman. And that is, of course, Sean Penn right there. I believe this one was limited to a thousand. So, um, if it hasn't sold out already on Zavi, it's probably very close. I have not seen this movie yet, but I definitely plan on checking it out. So that's a gunman right there. Uh, let me just move this out of the way real quick, guys. Sorry about that. Next one is um, I Am Legend. Now this one has been out of print for quite a while. Um, it's pretty sought after steelbook right here from Future Shop. See the back right there. 
but yeah, really, really nice looking steel book. It's happy to own this, add this one into the collection. Next one I got is this is from Zavi, and that is a Dead Rising Watchtower. Really like the artwork on the front right here. This is a limited edition. I don't remember the exact number that it was limited to, but I know it was pretty low. So yeah, this is a obviously a zombie movie. So that's Dead Rising. Next one I got is one that I've finally came, I've been waiting forever for, and that is Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer Steelbook. And this one is just awesome looking with the the red right there. Here's the back. It's got a lot of, quite a few extra features right there. I enjoyed this movie. I, I've seen it already, so I, I, I don't know if I'm going to open this this one up, but it's definitely a really, really welcome addition to the collection and really nice looking steelbook. And I've got two steelbooks left. I saved the two best for last. The next one is From Dust Till Dawn. Now this one has been sold out for quite a while and is pretty hard to come by now, especially for a good price. And I won this on a on a bid on eBay for a pretty good deal. And I really I really like this look of this steel book right here. I already have the Future Shop edition from Dust Till Dawn, but you can't you cannot beat that cover art right there. And in the back right there, of course, you have George Clooney and uh, Quentin Tarantino. But yeah, this one's still sealed. I definitely do not plan on opening this one up. I want to keep this one sealed up. So that's from Dust Till Dawn. I'm going to try and speed up a little bit, guys. I'm... And this next one I got is, I'm not going to lie, cost me quite a bit of money, but I had to have it. I've been after this one for uh, at least a year, and that is the, uh, I know I'm going to get a little hate on this, but that's fine. That's the Romeo and Juliet iron pack right there. Still sealed. Um, if you guys know about this one, it is extremely, extremely rare, very valuable. And the guy gave it to me for what I consider a very good price. It is just a beautiful looking steelbook. I don't care at all about the movie. It's it's not about that. Um, it's strictly for collecting purposes. I absolutely do not plan on opening this one up. This is just for the collection right here. Yeah, very, very nice looking iron pack right here. Um, I have it actually next to my uh, Moulin Rouge one. And these are two of the probably the most sought after iron packs in the entire world, along with the uh, Terminator Salvation, which I believe was the first um, iron pack released ever. So yeah, that's Romeo and Juliet, really nice looking. And last thing that I got that I, I saved for last, guys, is the Watchmen Complete 1 through 12 First Editions. Now, if you guys know about these, these are really old. They're from October 1987, so they're almost 30 years old. And I got every single one, and I found this in that, that bookstore. Um, I got it for a very good price, very good price compared to what this is going for on the Internet. You can see the artwork right there, really awesome. The Watchman clock, the back right there with the blood. Here's the next one right here. All the all the backs are going to be exactly the same, but really really nice cover art right there. Really like it. I've never really been into collecting comic books, but when I when I saw this, I definitely couldn't pass it up if not just for the collecting but the the value of these it's it, it was a rare find nice right there just really awesome looking artwork the colors just fantastic
March 1987, so it's getting older as I go on, obviously. February. It's still the same back artwork. Or no, actually, it's different. The blood doesn't take the whole page. That's pretty cool. I just noticed that, that the the blood as the additions go on goes farther over the uh, the clock or on the back of the page. This is January 87. Let's see right there what comic books were going for back then, a dollar fifty. Number four of twelve. This is of course DC Comics. I really like this one right here. The, the fall, nuclear fallout sign right there. Another nice looking one right there. Number two. And here is the, the number one. And on this one right here, there's absolutely no blood. So yeah, that is the Watchmen 1 through 12 uh, first print release. So let me know what you guys think about these these comics right here. If you guys ever you know read these or, or know anything about them, and uh, what you guys thought about my recent pickups that I got. Um, so till the next one, guys. Hope everyone's doing well, and I'll catch you on the next one.